The Naval Academy curriculum evolves intentionally, very slowly over time, and perhaps in the last 30 to 40 years, that evolution has been based in technology. With the advent of cyber, cyber attacks, cyber defense, uh, that has really become a primary focus of the Naval Academy program, and it has evolved and developed much more rapidly than the normal academic curriculum would anywhere. Unlike most other disciplines that have been developed here at the Naval Academy, we had no starting point to imitate others from because cyber is not an area, certainly not on the offensive side, that others were, were pursuing. So we are leading the country in the development of the program. We're creating the program that I think others will start to imitate. I decided that I wanted to go cyber operations because originally I was mainly interested in uh, math and sciences, but uh, cyber operations offered the math and science aspect as well as the people aspect where you get the ethics and the politics. So it was a best of both worlds, if you will. The reason why I was attracted to the cyber operations program was it's a cutting edge technology. It's something that affects our lives every day, it gives you an opportunity to learn about something that's changing all the time. Being one of the first classes to go through, you know, we're really testing things out, but there's a lot of aspects of what we've learned here that could be expanded on. They could really excel at teaching that major with a new cyber building. Our faculty, our staff, the, the folks running this program feel a bit like nomads. They don't have a home of their own. And if you think about cyber as a discipline, it depends on technology and facilities. So the new building is absolutely key to that concept. So the new cyber building, first off, I'm really excited that they're naming it after Admiral Grace Hopper. I've done a few projects on her throughout my high school and even during plebe year. She's an incredible lady, did a lot for the cyber realm, especially for women. But to have their own building, it'll help the students prosper in learning and experiencing and interacting with the different aspects of cyber operations. The new uh, building will have what we call a SCIF, a uh, Sensitive Compartment Information Facility. In this classified space, we'll have two classrooms, two labs, a lecture hall. We'll have my office, the office of the visiting professors, the Cyber Science Department, and the Computer Science Department. So we envision that fourth deck to be where we'd have a lot more in-depth collaboration and research, but at a classified level. So we could actually bring in classified forensics, maybe look at a past attack on a network, figure out who did it, do some analysis, and then maybe try to help out our own intelligence agencies by having the same networks that they use here at the Naval Academy in the SCIF. And then our visiting professors can actually do some research that has not been done ever at the Naval Academy because we don't have any classified spaces. Every Naval officer and Marine officer should get a, a broader awareness of how our adversaries are using the cyber domain as a tool or element of military power. It will make every midshipman a better officer. Our graduates are going to lead conversations in the nation on cyber operations, both offensively and defensively. That's where this program is going to set itself apart from what everybody else is doing.